Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this episode, I'm going to introduce you to my new Simp API. So this will be a short video, but I want to give you a brief overview of what I've created. So Simp API is an API that I've made so that you can create Spigot Minecraft plugins way easier than you've done before. So you may have seen in my Spigot series, a command manager video and a menu manager video, even a color translator video with the hexadecimal colors. Um, what I've done is I've taken all of these different systems and then introduced them into one single API that you can introduce into your projects using Maven or Gradle anytime that you want to use them. So not only have I done that, but I've modified them to make them way more advanced and easier to use. So the command manager has been totally rewritten and the menu manager has been totally rewritten. So the color translator you might have seen before, it's basically just a, a way for you to create hexadecimal color strings. So all you gotta do is pass in a string using uh, you know hexadecimal colors with the ampersand in front of it. But the thing you might have not seen before is the skull creator, which is a utility API that allows you to create player heads really easily. So, so if you go to one of these websites here, you can find a database of all the player heads, um, a bunch of player heads that you can use and obtain to do stuff like adding it to your build or use it in a inventory. You can use it however you want to. But as you can see, there's many options. You can do letters, you can do objects, you can do numbers, as you can see here. There's a lot of different things you can do. Um, animals, humans, miscellaneous, uh, plants. They really, um, it's really cool. So these are really hard to obtain in a Spigot plugin. So I've made an API. Well, I didn't make it myself. Let me be clear. So the skull creator I got from here, it's by a person named Dean B or Dean Veloper. You can check them out if you want to. It's a simple library for obtaining heads. Like I said, using base 64 strings by Mojang URLs, a bunch of different ways. And you can even use the, uh, Maven, uh, import if you want if you don't want to use the simp api so just to give credit to this guy this is where i found it from and uh yeah so i put that into simp api because it's a very useful tool especially in my menu system you can add buttons that look really cool using the skull creator and i'll have a video on how to use this in the future don't worry about that i'll actually have a video on all of these so you can uh, see how to use each of them in more detail command manager is the first one i'll be showing so you'll see how to create commands how to create core commands and then under that command you'll have sub commands like I said, if you've seen the original command manager, you'll pretty much know how this works. And uh, I'll show you how to use the, how, how to use it in the new way. The same for all of these. Anyway, so that's enough on what Simp API is and what it provides. In the future, I'll be adding more things to Simp API, like a, maybe a file um, system thingy to save stuff to files. Um, I don't know, I could add anything. If you have any suggestions, I would be happy to let you either add it yourself or I'll add it for you. Um, you can leave a suggestion on the GitHub page open up a pull request or add it to the list or just DM me. DMing me is probably the best way if you have a suggestion. That way I can improve it or not before you go ahead and code it. Anyway, so let's go to the GitHub here. This is where you can uh, view Simp API and uh, get the information for it, the documentation, and also the Maven and Gradle information. So if you want to add this to your project, I use Maven personally. All you got to do is just add this to your repositories, uh, part of the palm.xml. And then you have, and then you add the dependency to the dependencies part of your palm.xml, and uh, yeah. And uh, besides that, I also have some documentation down here, so you can see in written form how to use the Simp API. It's not fully written at the moment, but you know, by the time you're watching this, it probably will be finished. So stay tuned for that. And the videos themselves will have more detail, though, for sure. Um, I think. I'll just be covering more things in the videos so you can see it firsthand and I'll be doing like an example plugin using each of these modules. So besides that, I also have the Java docs here. Um, you can find the full documentation for everything. It'll be all documented. So you actually know what you're doing. So if you go to, for example, me.codysimpson.mpapi.menu and you go to menu manager, as you can see, it says used to interface with the menu manager API. I'll be adding more documentation in the future just to fully document everything for you guys who like using Java docs. And if you go to the setup method, for example, it says server, the instance of your server provided by calling get server. So that's the first uh, parameter. And then plugin, the instance of the plugin using this API can be, can provide it in a plugin class by passing this keyword. And you get the point. So if you want to look at the Java docs, you can find them on the GitHub just by clicking the Java docs link. And there you go. And that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to introduce you to Simp API. In the next few videos, you're gonna be seeing how to use Simp API so you can use them in your projects. And I hope this um, will be a popular thing because I find it very helpful for uh, you know, making plugins. So hopefully you'll be able to incorporate them into your plugin development workflow yourself. 
So if you like this, um, let me know, like the video, um, you know, give a star on GitHub, however you do that. There we go. And like I said, if you want to contribute, just DM me on Discord and let me know what you think um, you might want to add to the plugin or um, you can leave a suggestion, anything you want to do. And also some people have left pull requests already so I can uh, add some of these new features and everything like that. Anyway, so thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.